What's good peeps? Welcome back to another video. Um, shout out to everybody who is new here. Right, I've seen the changes since I've not been posting for the past couple of weeks, unfortunately. But yeah, um, if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll realize that I've gotten into a bit of producing, specifically remixing, of course, but you know, more on a production level. And so today we're going to look at this specific edit. But shirt about jeans, much with a polo. But and I'm gonna go through how I went through building it after the intro. If you want to listen to the full thing as well, it is in the description box. Yeah, that's the name of it, the description box. Um, but before that, as I said, let's take a look at how I built it. All right, so now we're on the computer. And from what you're seeing, this is Ableton Live 11 Lite. I don't have the full version because, you know, such is life, but you know. Um, yeah, let's get into the remix specifically. So what you're seeing on screen now is the session view. And whatever you're seeing in blue is the original songs um, files. And then everything else is basically either my files or in this case, I utilized what seems to be the sample that they used to create the instrumental for the original culture. Um, so what I did, I first thing I did, definitely first thing, was find the parts of the song that I thought they sampled. And let me just solo that so you can hear what it sounds like. And this is what you get. That of course is the first four bars that I thought I used. And so, I put that in, just basically just copied it all the way out to the end and then started eliminating things. Um, I threw on this equalizer here to take off some of the lower end because I wanted to take off some of the bass, especially for when I have the 808 section coming in um, later on in the track. That's what I wanted to develop. Um, after that, I started by first of all disabling their 808 because I wanted to put in my own 808 and so I did that by utilizing the plugin Subdivine just carry this cross here all right very light plugin that's what it looks like um, light version of the plugin because they actually have a full version where you get access to all of the um, functions here and so you know started off with something quite basic here and this is what it sounds like this is what I had initially. Alright, I just had that to sort of create some form of moment, um, momentum to drive the ideas. And so, after going through some processing and getting some feedback on it, I got some help from Plasmatic. So I told Plasmatic, if you haven't watched his interview yet, it's up top there and in the description. Um, but yeah, that's after talking to him, talking with him about it, this is what we came up with. So. Of course, sort of repeated that here. No, we didn't repeat that here. We did something else here. So we that. All right, and then we went. So that was basically that with regards to patterning for the 808 and then of course we cut it up and do I <laughs> cut it up and duplicate but as I said plasmatic helped me with sort of getting the groove um, for at least the first two portions the last portion here I sort of put that together myself um, moving on to the additional thing that I added I added um, a glocking spear all right, this one comes with a VST called Descent Sampler. Um, so just put in that, and then I added an EQ to take out some of the frequencies that I didn't like in there. Um, catching my practice doing EQ sweeping and thing, because I'm still new to producing more or less, but 
you know good to learn then i added pancake by cable guys this sort of a, as the name implies it pan the sound from left to right um in ableton light we don't have the auto pan um plugin so just have to work with what i can work with all the plugins that i've mentioned so far are free plugins as well as the program is free when you get it with certain keyboards and so forth but we're not talking about that right now so this is what the locking spiel sounds like And then of course it takes its time and fade out because of the amount of reverb that I left on it in the initial per um the VST. Alright, and so yeah, that's what I did for that. Um moving on to the drums from the initial thing. I basically just cut it up to sort of match with like what I was doing here in the pattern for some portions as you can see. Let me just also give you an idea of how it sounds in context you know. all right so that's what that sounds like um as you may be aware um the method i used was the melody that ml method um to get the separate files if anything and uh, you haven't you have no idea how that works link is up top as well as in the description to that specific video um it's one of the first three videos actually so um yeah in the series so yeah there's that um so part of that is that you're hearing the artifacting as well because of that uh, and then for the drums however turned on the filter to take off some of the low end as well i had Put on an additional equalizer to take off some of the additional low end from the auto filter and uh, then after processing that pulled up some other frequencies for the symbols so what i did is that um when i automated it i didn't have anything on the symbols so you know so i just took off some of the low end off of the symbols section using this specific one and then the filter would come back in the filter and the other eq would come back in to sort of do the additional work for the drums itself and did that on two separate automation lanes uh i'm sorry first of all if you're not understanding a lot of this uh definitely took me a while to understand some of it too but this is specific to ableton um whilst i'm here in terms of my automations for my 808 I did a pitch bend because I can't do one in the, in, the, in the VST itself and so I did a pitch bend here to sort of move from a very low C to the C that we needed so it sounds like this all right let me just play that again all right so that's what that sounds like um very quite simple and then that was sort of match with the riser from the original song um but we filtered out but i filtered out the latter part of the so it comes in quite nicely as the the eight way comes in quite nicely as the riser falls out so to speak uh, i did that about two three times yeah there we go one two three times so that was that in terms of drums and i guess a little bit more on the 808 in that regard turn off back automation and then we have the piano surprisingly i don't think a lot of persons may have picked up the piano in the song but you know That portion normally comes before come this part here actually comes here so let me just pull in back this portion here it would have actually been like this in the song all right and so i took that portion put it before the small counting 
All right, so we get the counting to go with the uh, drop, the 808 drop there. And then I did that here and here. Um, let me just play it in context so you get the idea. So, so this is how it is. I watch the pop, couple buttons from the foot. This is the fatter. Brass, deep bins and a shady and a ladder. Bloody hell. Next door, pin that truck, keep on the llama. To make day dry, plug, keep on the charger. Alright, so that was the concept I was going for. And then, of course, you know, designer comes in without keys in that regard. Um, On the piano, all I did was EQ the mids um because i wanted some of that energy because it's mostly high higher frequencies that are being played higher uh, higher notes that are played so that frequency was sort of covered but what i did as well is that i distorted it using um refilter light adding a whole using the whole preset that they have and just adjusting the filter amount to about 76 percent to sort of break up the sound a little more than it was already artifacted um from the get-go and then last but not least vocals simply put um you know keep everything clean cut out the expletives and anything else that i believe needed to be cut out um so that it can actually be played on radio if anything or in a public space more accurately and then took out some of the low frequencies because i was still getting some of the um drums in the vocal track and then i use this plugin by native instruments called rom all right and then all i did was that i just mix so that it was a little more to what i was looking for so 42 percent mix and so for example in this area close you don't like me let me say you broke do no bother all right nice and simple and that's what gives that type of effect throughout the track as you can see there are a few good amount of cuts in the track but yeah that's basically what i did to make my bootleg um it's going to be in the description for you to listen to the full thing when you're ready i'm also going to be actually giving a copy of it away well giving it making it available for download for djs so that download link is in the description as well and um let me just go to my outro and so i look to wrap up this video oh wait hold on hold on i almost forgot one thing on the mastering channel or on the master channel what i did i have no idea in terms of mastering or i have a, a better understanding of mixing than anything that's why everything's sound how it's sound but um in ableton just i took a random chain full chain and then all I did, I believe I had selected parallel drive. I don't want to go and select anything on it. Oh, wait. All right. I had selected parallel drive. All right. Because that's what sounded okay to me. And then, you know, export, do my taggings and everything and all of that. But um, trust me, I really want to get the whole mixing and mastering thing down. But, you know, this is a sort of cheat code in a sense to um get it get your songs to a listenable state all right please note still you still have to put in the work in terms of quality of your music and the content that you put out so learn the thing properly if you can all right just don't live on the cheat codes but yeah as i was saying i'm going to just get to my next camera and wrap up this video and that concludes this video um Thank you very much for watching. If you have any songs that you'd like to see me try and do a bootleg for, you can leave them or leave names of them in the description, in the comment section. Jeez, oh please. In the comment section below. And I will see how best I can get to them. And until then, catch you later, peeps.